So this is how to sow and grow basil. Now basil is a fantastic, pretty easy to grow herb for your garden and it certainly packs a punch of flavour. Now there's all sorts of different colours and growth habits from green through to really dark purple, almost black, very small leafed varieties, frilly varieties, giant leaf varieties, and there's all different flavours as well from Thai basil, cinnamon basil, lime basil, all sorts of exciting things for you to try. Now this is a heat loving plant, so you're going to want to start it either indoors or much later in the season, towards the end of March, for it to be able to work if you're going to grow it outside in a greenhouse. Now the seed of basil is quite small, so it's easiest probably to use the pricking out method when you're propagating basil. And we've got a whole other video that tells you exactly what you're doing with that. Now you're going to want to fill a small pot with compost to about a centimetre and a half below the rim. And then you're going to take your basil seed and you're just going to sprinkle it onto the surface of that compost and then cover it again with a little bit more. So you're aiming for it to be roughly a centimetre deep. Keep that warm and moist and your little seedlings are going to start popping up and then you can prick them out and put them into individual module trays to grow on. And you want to keep that in a nice warm position until you're ready to plant it out after all risk of frost has passed. And basil is a heat loving plant remember, so it's going to want a sunny sheltered position or you can grow it in a greenhouse or a polytunnel. And it is said that traditionally if you grow basil and tomatoes in the same place, the basil will help to intensify the flavour of the tomatoes, which sounds like a fabulous thing to me. Now once your plants get to about 20 centimetres high or so, or they have two sets of leaves, you're going to want to pinch out the top. That basically means just remove the little growing tip. Now the reason that we do that is otherwise it grows in a long line and what we want is a nice big fat bushy basil plant. Now if you pinch out the top at this stage, it's going to start to grow more branches all the way down that stem from every single leaf apex. And once you've planted your basil out into its final position, keep harvesting from it regularly. The more of a haircut you give it on a regular basis, the more tender and productive it's gonna be. Now the beauty of basil is that it's really easy to make more plants from the plants you've already got. So if you found that you haven't propagated enough or you haven't got a lot of room to propagate the basil, what you can do is this. You take some cuttings from your plants, strip off the bottom leaves, so that you've just got a little set of leaves on top and then put them in water. And then within a week, they are gonna grow roots, which you can then pot up and you've got a brand new basil plant. So if you'd like to have a go at growing basil, check out our seed range at shegrowsveg.com.